what's up, Scott Walker here with the Imagination Creation Films, and today we're talking about Red's Komodo X. Red's making things exciting. So I want to go through the snippets of the live stream and pull the most important parts out and decipher what they mean. So you'll see some clips and some me. First, I do want to thank Jared Land for coming on the stream and leaking a bunch of stuff for the community. And I also want to thank my co-host, Phil Holland, who stuck out the entire six hours answering questions, giving thoughts, opinions, etc. It was a fun and eventful evening. So briefly, out of the blue, the other day, Carlos had a live stream where he was talking about the X factor of Komodo and how it's such a great camera. And his Komodo X thumbnail and title got Jared's attention, as we now found out that's the exact name of this new companion to Komodo. Jared thought Carlos had gotten an internal leak, but that's not the case at all. He was just talking about his love for Komodo. So Carlos gets an award for being, well, as Jared puts it, a ninja. Carlos is a ninja. I also want to thank so many of you in the live stream. Your probing questions and engagement helped extract just the right amount of Komodo X data. So here we go. Where does Komodo X fit in the lineup of current cameras? And Komodo is really hard because what's coming isn't a Komodo 2. It's not a replacement for Komodo by any means. Um, it's that in between that I said on Curtis's uh, Carlos. live stream, yeah. but um, so it's kind of that in between camera. And you guys have all kind of extrapolated that if you just hear that and think about that, everything I would just assume everything is kind of in the middle of those two cameras. Sweet. So this is not a Komodo 2 or a replacement for Komodo. That's Jared Leak speak for. Komodo is here for a while. Komodo X is built to sit beside it in the lineup. Is Komodo X physically larger than Komodo? Yeah. Yeah. I would not bet that it would be the same size if you wanted it to have any more ability over existing Komodo. Interesting. But not, not XL sized. No. <laughs> Not rapid okay. size either. Not that was rapid. the funniest thing because for the last year, everyone's been calling it maybe Komodo XL, and I'm like, that's not what anybody wants. <laughs> well, this is Jared Leak speak for, well, Komodo X is going to be slightly larger, but not V Raptor sized. And from the looks of the camera that he showed, and I'll show you that here in just a minute, it appears almost identical in size. But what about the top screen? Is it bigger? We wouldn't make the camera if a little bit bigger if we didn't have to. That's the comment that matches the monitor. We wouldn't make the camera um, just bigger for no reason, because I love the size of the Komodo. I really love the height, the width. Um, it's just the way that that sits in your hands. So we find out that the top screen is the maximum size for Komodo but to get a bigger monitor in Komodo X, the camera had to be bigger. So leak speak, we get a slightly bigger and more capable monitor. And then Jared said, I really love the height and width and the way it sits in your hand, referring to well, Komodo. And mm, this, is, this is leak speak for height and width are likely the same as Komodo, but the length of Komodo might be slightly longer. And if you notice, he didn't say length in his comment. Carefully chosen words, Mr. Jared. So what about global shutter? If I was a guessing betting man, I would probably say global shutter was important if it, if it was called Komodo. Just saying, I'm not saying it is or it isn't, but if I had to make a bet, I don't know. Everybody's telling me that that's a good bet. No, so that's leak speak for, yep, Komodo X has global shutter. And also the Komodo name is going to be synonymous with global shutter, it appears. Well, what about sensor size? I don't know. Frank, Frank says full frame Komodo. I think we've kind of narrowed down that it's not. No. So, oh, I, I, did we narrow that down? Shit. I, I, I feel like Phil and I did. I think you just did. <laughs> 
Um, the yeah, the sensor side, you know, global shutter again. It's magic that we got the first Komodo global shutter with the dynamic range in S35. And again, Komodo, I would follow that path, especially looking at the name that it's going to probably stay the in that same S35 realm. So this is leak speak for Super 35-ish. He does point out that Global Shutter is very hard in Super 35 already. 8K would be extremely hard. So with Komodo in the name, it's gonna follow some basic guiding Komodo principles. And we've also now confirmed via Phil's live stream that we're getting CF Express in Komodo X. But what about audio quality, frame rates, and capability? Hypothetical question on X. If, if if we assume it's 6K and we assume it's about 60 frames a second, and we have an idea now that it is CF Express, can we potentially now that the the barrier of bandwidth is is broken out a little bit, can we have like 60 at medium quality? Is that something that could be possible in the uh, I didn't confirm uh, any of that, but I will. I no, it's, it's definitely hypothetical. It, uh, hypothetically, sure. but I will confirm that you get better audio. Wish my chair was. that. <laughs> I'll give you wow. that. <laughs> okay, well, I, then I'm good. I'm dead. Let's see. <laughs> so we can't confirm any frame rates or compression at frame rates, but we can extrapolate that it most definitely has higher frame rates. Otherwise, why make it bigger? Now, I don't think it's going to touch the V-Raptor frame rates, but everything in the middle, as Jared has said, so somewhere in between. And then this happened. And you have, <laughs> I mean, there's, this is, this is so incredibly, this is one of the, and I not show enough that you can't see, just one Something of the I modules. I'm very oh, curious oh. about that. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I never saw two people squirrel so fast at a monitor. Jared states, this is one of the modules. So leak speak, there's more modules coming. I have no idea what they are, but this one looks incredibly interesting. We can see a V mount on the back with a V kind of notch in the middle. It looks like maybe you could pass cables through. Maybe, maybe it's for a different purpose. I don't know. We also see a BNC on it, which could be Genlock, or it could be 3G or 12G SDI. And there appears to be an LCD on it as well, I think. Is it audio meters? Is it a battery level? Is it subscribe to Scott's YouTube and a little flashy? I, I, I don't know. So what about the price point? Definitely oh, no. a newer camera will be more expensive one way or another. Oh, no, For sure. And honestly, I swear to God, we don't know what the price is yeah. today. Because um, that stuff changes all the time. Price is not locked in yet. It will be very soon, I think, but it changes. You know, you get a bad yield from the sensor factory and all of a sudden the sensors cost twice as much or you put that in one of the suppliers you know or fucking scott's goddamn audio better audio chips doubles the price on us and we got uh you know um so we have scott to blame when the camera's twice the price okay yeah. well, we have scott we have scott to 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 thank if the audio is better yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but, that, but then the blame when you know the prices is, is more expensive. right but that's really how it works and we don't know what that price is until we thought that komodo x for example was going to be a very different price than it is now not by a lot but um you know and so that's kind of how we come up and i know a lot of companies don't work like that they kind of work the other way they look at what price we need a 999 dollars gadget gadget and let's make something you know to that and we'll just neuter things as we go along to keep it in so we can make the margins to hit that price point that's kind of normal you know mass manufacturing product manufacturing mentality so, now this is interesting there's a lot in play here and they aren't quite in production so they don't know exactly but they're aiming for right in the middle 
Now I'm holding my guess at just under 10,000, but if it's over 10,000, it's it's all my fault. I mean, hey, we, we do get better audio, so worth it. So what does it look like? A little... Yeah. That thing. Whoa. 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 So Jared shows the Komodo X, which confirms the name Komodo X, which we could clearly see. And it also has a locking RF ring. And also a front record button is back. And it's on the right side, not the left. It's interesting, but woohoo, I'll take it. It, uh, it looks ever so slightly longer. And in the back, there's, there's like a offset extension to me that almost looks like almost looks like you could put a uh, a nano v mount on the back but i mean that's just a wild guess we we don't get to see the back so we don't know what other teases did we get but cinegear is around the corner um yep. and uh, previously, things like the uh, variable END, uh, or just END, or I, I call it the REND, red, red Electronic ND. I don't know if that's a good name for it, but um, there's certainly things that you guys have been working on that haven't been seen yet that are probably closer. Are we going to be seeing new accessories or anything around that time or later in the year? Or Yes, and absolutely. Well, and hopefully shipping. You know, we're still working on the EVF, so that's not going to be a Cinegear, you know, big reveal, um, unfortunately. I love that Cinegear is coming back. Well, it looks like Cinegear, we're going to see some new accessories for likely the V-Raptors. And he said, hopefully shipping by then too. But he also just confirmed an EVF. Yep, Red is working on an EVF. Now, when will Komodo X be available? Well, he never answered that but we can extrapolate that it won't be tomorrow, but it might be announced around sending gear, maybe a little later, uh, and then maybe shipping in the second half of the year. I mean, he showed a Stormtrooper. I mean, it's pretty much built hardware-wise. Now, firmware and scaling production, those are things that probably are still being worked out. So the gist of that is it's so much further along than we thought. So that's about all we got out of this live stream. The rest of it was Phil and I extracting as much information from what we just heard into sensible knowledge and trying to figure out what we could figure out. And it really is worth listening to the entire six hours, but exciting times ahead. And as I've said over and over again, Red is not sleeping. They're very much pushing forward. So what do you think about Komodo X so far? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think. And also, if you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a channel member for, well, the sneak peeks at upcoming videos and so much more. Remember, you can also support the channel by using any of the affiliate links down below because you care. And as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions.